friends in this video we are going to study the measurement of phase using the cathode ray oscilloscope also known as CRO so let us start with our topic <music> The cathode ray oscilloscope, also known as CRO, it is one of the most common laboratory instrument which is used for the display of different types of electronic signals. Now, when uh, the CRO, we can say that it is used to display the waveforms. So, in CRO, we are having two inputs, vertical input and the horizontal input. The vertical input is the input signal which we want to display and the horizontal input is an internally generated ramp voltage which is also known as SWE. So we can say that in CRO we are having two inputs. Vertical input and horizontal input. Vertical input is the input signal whose waveform we want to display on the screen of the CRO. And horizontal input is the internally generated ramp voltage. So on the screen of the CRO, we will get the waveform of this input signal versus time. Okay. Now instead of using these input signal and the ramp voltage, if we are using two sinusoidal signals as the two inputs of the CRO, so on the display screen of the CRO, we will get some patterns and these patterns are known as the Lissajous patterns. So this is the special case when we are applying two sinusoidal signals as an input to the CRO. So this vertical input will also be a sinusoidal signal and horizontal input will also be a sinusoidal signal. So the pattern which we are obtaining on the screen of the CRO is called the Lissajous patterns. Now these Lissajous patterns they can have different shape and the shape of these Lissajous patterns they changes with the change in the phase of the two sinusoidal signals and also change in the frequency of the two sinusoidal signals. So as the shape of the Lissajous pattern, it is changing with respect to the change in the phase difference and change in the ratio of the frequencies between the two signals. So we can use these Lissajous patterns for two applications. One is to measure the phase difference between the two signals and second is for the measurement of the frequency between the Two signals or we can say the ratio of the frequencies of the two signals. So these Lissajous pattern they will have two applications to calculate the phase difference
and second is to determine the ratio of frequencies so here in this video we are studying that how we can calculate the phase difference using the lissajous patterns obtained in the cro now as i said that the shape of the lissajou pattern it changes as the uh, as there is change in the phase difference between the two signals so the phase difference it can have any value like it can be 0 90 degree 180 degree 360 degree between the two signals so let's see that what are the different patterns of the lissajous or what are the different shapes of these lissajous patterns obtained and what is the relation of them with the frequency and the phase difference between the signals so when two sinusoidal signals of equal frequencies which are in phase with each other they are applied to the two deflection plates of the cro then the pattern which is obtained on the screen of the cro it is a straight line so whenever two sinusoidal voltage uh, voltages which are having same frequency and which are in phase with each other the lissajous pattern obtained will be a straight line now when two equal voltages which are having equal frequency but are with 90 degree phase displacement with each other so the lissajous pattern obtained on the screen of the cro it will be a circle and when two equal voltages which are of equal frequency but with a phase shift of 5 degrees that is other than not equal to 0 degrees or 90 degree then the pattern obtained will be an ellipse so these are the three things which are observed when two sinusoidal voltages which are equal in their magnitude and which are having same frequency they are applied to the two deflection plates vertical and horizontal deflection plates so these three types of lissajous pattern straight line circle and ellipse are obtained so using these informations a conclusion can be made up for that uh, that uh, if we are obtaining a straight line then the phase difference will be zero if we are obtaining a circle then the phase difference is 90 degree if we are obtaining an ellipse then the phase difference is other than zero or 90 degrees
So first conclusion is that when a straight line is obtained as a Lissajou pattern, then the two voltages are equal and they are having equal frequency and they are either in phase with each other or they are 180 degree out of phase with each other. So if we see this is the y axis on the CRO screen and this is the x axis. So we are going to obtain a straight line and this straight line is going to make an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal line. This can be tilted in this direction also and it can be tilted in this direction also depending upon that whether the signals they are in phase with each other or 180 degree out of phase with each other. Now here because we are saying that the straight line it will come when the two voltages are equal with each other and it is going to make an angle 45 degree with the horizontal line. Now if this uh, horizontal line if we are increasing the vertical deflection it means if we are increasing any the voltage which is applied to the vertical deflection plates then this line will have an angle greater than 90 degree okay. So this is going to move in the anti-clockwise direction this 45 degree angle it is going to increase okay and if we are increasing the horizontal deflection the angle will become less than 45 degree it will move in the clockwise direction so angle will be less than 45 degree if we are increasing the horizontal voltage and if we are increasing the vertical voltage the angle will be increased from 45 degree but it will be a straight line okay because the two signals they are in phase with each other or they are 180 degree out of phase with each other next conclusion is when we are obtaining a circle Second conclusion which we can derive from the observations made is that when two sinusoidal waveforms of equal frequency, same frequency, they are uh, uh, they are provided as the input, then the Lissajou pattern it can be a straight line, circle, and ellipse, and this will be obtained depending upon the phase and the magnitude of the voltages. Okay. Now also uh, we have said that circle is obtained when the magnitude is equal, ellipse is obtained when the magnitude is different and the phase, dif phase difference is also changed, okay.
another conclusion is that when we are having equal voltages of the same frequency then there is a variation from a straight line to the ellipse according to the magnitude and the phase difference between the voltages and these ellipses they can have different eccentricities like the major and the minor axis of the ellipses they can have different magnitudes and different uh, angles with the horizontal line so these are the conclusions made with the help of the observations now let us see that uh, what are the different patterns according to the phase difference between the signals so when the phase difference between the two sinusoidal voltages it is 0 or 360 degree we are going to obtain a straight line If we draw it on the screen of the CRO, it will be like a straight line which is passing from the first quadrant to the third quadrant. And this is making an angle of 45 degree. Next, if the phase difference is 30 degrees or 330 degrees, it will be an ellipse. Okay, next if the phase difference is 45 degrees or 315 degrees, then also it will be an ellipse. But the major and the minor axis, they will have the uh, more magnitude. Next, if the angle between or if we say the phase difference is 60 degrees or 300 degrees, we will get a pattern, Lasaju pattern, which is oval in shape. Next, if we are having the phase difference as 90 degrees or 270 degrees, we will get a circle. The difference between oval and a circle is that in the circle, the radius is same on all the sides. Okay, but in oval, we are having the radius is difference. So, In case of 90 degree or 270 degree phase difference, we are getting a circle. In case of 120 degree or 240 degree, if the phase difference is either 120 or 240, we will again get a oval. But this oval, it will now be in the second and the fourth quadrant. So you can see that the pattern, it is shifting from first to third quadrant to second to fourth quadrant. Okay. Then if the phase angle is 150 degree or 210 degrees, it will be an ellipse. This ellipse will also be in the second and the fourth quadrant. This is the major axis of the ellipse and this is the minor axis of the ellipse. Next, if the phase difference is 180 degree, then we are going to get a straight line. 
and this straight line is from second to fourth quadrant passing from the origin and making an angle 45 degree with the negative real axis okay so if you observe the patterns you can see that the patterns are moving from this direction to this direction first it is uh, from first to the third quadrant it is shifting in this way and then in the last it is coming to second and the fourth quadrant so this is how the uh, there is a progressive increase in the shape of the lesage's patterns now how we can measure the phase difference if the phase difference between the two signals it is different from these standard values so how we can obtain them there are two cases case first when the phase difference phi between the two signals it is between 0 to 90 degrees or it is between two seventy and 360 degrees so if the phase difference between the signals it is between 0 to 90 and 272 to 360 degree we can find out it with the help of the formula we know that when we are having the phase angle as 0 270 or 360 degree we are getting a straight line and on 90 and 270 we are getting a circle here if you remember this uh, table when the phase difference is 0 and 360 we are getting a straight line and when the phase difference is 90 and 270 we are getting a circle other than these values we are getting an ellipse okay so if we get an ellipse the pattern will be like the ellipse will be in the first and the third quadrant This is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Now when this pattern is obtained on the CRO, in CRO we are having different divisions on the x-axis also and on the y-axis also. So we are going to measure these values. This will be y1, y2 and this will be x1 x2 so if we take the ratio of x1 upon x2 sine inverse of x1 upon x2 or if we take the ratio of sine inverse of y1 upon y2 we can measure the phase difference in this case now the second case is when there is another possibility in this case here we are getting the phase difference as sine inverse of x1 upon x2 and sine inverse of y1 upon y2 so this value will be in the range from 0 to 90 degree another possibility can be when the phase difference is 360 degree minus 5 suppose that if we are uh, getting this uh, 5 value as 30 degrees okay so at 30 degrees in the the phase difference between the two signal can be 30 degree also and it can be 360 minus 30 degree also or we can say it can be 330 degrees also so this lesage pattern is obtained when the phase difference between the two signal can be 30 degree or it can be 330 degrees so there are two possibilities the phase difference can be either phi or it can be 360 degrees minus phi second case is when the phase difference between the two signals it is between the range greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree or greater than 180 degree and less than 270 degree
So again, when we are getting 90 degrees and 270 degree, we get a circle and on 180 degree, we are getting a straight line. Other than these angles, we will get an ellipse. So this ellipse will be from second to the fourth quadrant. Okay, so the direction of the ellipse is now changed. So in this case, if we want to find out the phase difference, phi will be equal to 180 degree minus sine inverse of x1 upon x2 or we can say it is 180 degree minus sine inverse of y1 upon y2. Okay, another possibility for the phase difference is 360 degrees minus Five. Okay, so here suppose that if we are getting the phi as thirty uh, here we are getting the phi as one fifty degrees. Okay, so three sixty minus one fifty will be two hundred and ten. So there are two phase angles, 150 or 210 for which we can get a Lesage pattern or an ellipse like this. So in this way, there are two cases. First case, when the Lesage, uh, when the phase difference is between 0 to 90 or 270 to 360. And another case, when the phase difference is between 90 to 180 and 180 to 270. So in both the cases the formula is written here. So using that formula we can find out the phase difference. The standard Lissajous patterns we can remember that for these standard value if we are uh, getting the Lissajou pattern like a straight line and an ellipse and oval which are having the equal minor and the major axis. Uh, so that uh, these are the phase difference values for that. So in this video, we studied about the measurement of the phase difference using the cathode ray oscilloscope. How the Lissajous patterns, they can be used to find out the phase difference between two sinusoidal voltages, which are having the same frequency. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.